the next target for TEPCO, Sellafield. Can nuclear get any more absurd? What can Tokyo Electric teach the British? The black arts of mass deception while secretly dumping nuclear waste on land and sea? One of the directors of TEPCO is Lady Barbara Judge, an American-born advocate for the British nuclear industry. Her stroke of evil genius was to link women's rights to work with nuclear energy. With the UK chapter of women in nuclear, with a current membership of a thousand plus. Why are the ovaries and minds of British women so important to the Japanese American French nuclear operations in the UK? Because the reproductive health of women of childbearing age and girls in the first casualty of the radioactive exposure. The campaign of diversion and denial is insidious and a taste of what's come from the Fukushima fanatics. The Japanese nuclear presence is not simply because, as usual, it is a strategic move to gain our profits in a lucrative energy market and also to keep alive hopes for its own nuclear weapons program. Since the UK reprocesses plutonium for Japan, therefore after the destruction of Fukushima, the pro-nuclear liberal democrat government established a billion dollar slush fund to facilitate global exports of Japanese nuclear technology. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe then urged his sidekick, Harihoki Kuroda, at the Bank of Japan to offer zero interest rates to the major banks that finance Hitachi, Toshiba, TEPCO, and related construction giants like Kajima, Obayashi, Shimizu, and Tayasi. ZERP was replaced by NERP, or negative interest rates, essentially giving away yen at a loss to the banksters to the detriment of the taxpayers and individual depositors. On top of the fallout from Fukushima, the corrupt nuclear industry has enslaved the Japanese people to the big global banks. And the British people do have legitimate reasons to fear what's going on in Sellafield. There's a lot of pictures that are coming out of degraded, rusty pieces all over. Sellafield. Cracked tanks. Nuclear safety expert claims there is a significant risk due to poor condition of storage ponds containing highly radioactive fuel rods. Unseen pictures of two storage ponds containing hundreds of highly radioactive fuel rods at the Sellafield nuclear plant show cracked concrete. Weeds are growing inside the machinery. But a spokesman for owner Sellafield LTD said the 60 year old ponds will not be cleaned up for decades. Despite concerns that they are in a dangerous state and could cause a large release of radioactive material if they are allowed to deteriorate further. The concrete is in dreadful condition, degraded, fractured, and if the ponds drain, the Magnox fuel will ignite and that will lead to another massive release of radioactive material. I am very disturbed at the rundown condition of the structures and support services. In my opinion, there is a significant risk that the systems could fail. Disgracefully degraded. It's like a concrete dock full of water. If you got a breach of the wall by accident or by attack, Magnox fuel would burn. I would say there are many hundreds of tons in there. The ponds are so bad, they can't even get to the waste. It will be up to the British people to cast off the remaining chains of the nuclear industry.